Okay, here we go. Learn. Welcome to Jing and Flip's class of how to get kawaii waifus. Lesson one. This is it. <laughs> We're gonna play Sakura Spirits because I don't know waifus. I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem. That Cho choosing all of them wrong. How? <laughs> My Tharja, I'll give you Tharja. Tharja's the best one. I know, I, that's why I said I'm giving you Tharja. Alright. That's the right one. God damn. Every person has a dream they wish to pursue. What's wrong with Tharja? Nothing. Good. No, you I... should be asking Dave what's wrong with Tharja. True. Oh, fuck, that's a click? Yes. I do. Yet, as people grow up, they often really come to realize the truth. Dreams are nothing more than fairy tales. Oh, it's kind of sad. Oh, okay. Then what about those who end up accomplishing their dreams? Are they merely, are they merely incredible lucky? Yeah. Dad, every man has a dream they he, he wants to accomplish. My boy, a real man doesn't give up on his dream, no matter how, no matter what overwhelming challenges he might have to face. Except when I settle for your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember those words my dad used to say. But despite their silly nature, I found myself inspired by them. Ever since I was a young child, I have been interested in martial arts. Oh, all right. Doesn't matter what I watched in television or read in manga. Manga. I don't care what the fuck you sound we call it manga. Some heroic martial artist. Well, it's been a dream to come. It has been my dream to become a martial artist one day. Of course, it was a bit childish to me to think that I could become a hero simply by learning martial arts. Yeah, Batman knows martial arts. So does Superman. Does he just punch them? Yeah, twist the necks. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! These are heroes. <laughs> After half the city is destroyed, you know our brother is still with superheroes. Nothing more than fragments of my imagination. In my imagination, I still had a desire to use my strength for the sake of others. Oh, my name is <laughs> Gushiken Takahiro. Okay, yeah. a seventeen-year-old rising judo star. <gasps> do, you, do you think he could beat Sekita Sanjiro? Dear God, Sekita Sanjiro. That's not. And no, that's not me bragging. I'm actually about to take part in two and two, so I can make or break my career on an international level. Oh my god! Of course, I was excited about this opportunity to finally accomplish my dreams, represent my country as a sport that I love. But the same excitement also makes me feel incredibly nervous. Oh, makes sense. As well, it worried me. Were some worrisome thoughts haunting my mind? A familiar voice resounded from outside the window. Koyumi, do you wanna? I assume it's a female or a male. Maybe it's your best friend. Oi! Attack him! Get your board of gear! There you go. Yeah. Okay, I guess I guess I'll be attack a hero. Uh, okay, okay. I'll be right there, Koyumi. And I wanted to keep Koyumi waiting. I quickly dashed towards the front door to let her in. Not even realizing I was still in my pajamas. Oh shit, I am in my pajamas. At least you put on pants. Yeah, true. Hold on a second. Koyumi, oh, gotta go grab my shoes before we head off to school. Really? Wait, is he still just pajamas even going to school? Yeah. He's one of those late viewers who's like running to school with a piece of bread in the mouth. Oh, I was gonna say, he better not have a goddamn bread in the mouth. I'm gonna whoop his ass. Nice jammies, <laughs> by the way. His brother from your mom. Yeah, fuck you, at least I have a mom. Oh, oh Bert! Oh. That's an adopted joke. <laughs> no, orphan <laughs> joke. That could be adopted. From my shirt is downwards, no one has indeed wearing my pajamas. I thought a groan of annoyance. I marched back towards my room. Bah! There's nothing wrong with my jammies. They're jammies, jammies. A gold knight is famous. The gold knight is famous combo hero in the West. Oh, guess okay, that's, that's probably what's on his pajamas. Yeah. Not everyone prefers sleeping naked like you. Mumbling these words, I started stripping out of my clothes. Not for what? What? <laughs> Not particularly minding the presence of the girl behind me. That's you. Right. Oh, you're a chick! <laughs> In your face. That only happened once! You know, very well. It was super hot that night. Jeez. Warm me before you strip naked in front of 
me. You idiots. Fuck up. You didn't seem to mind it when we were little. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want me to turn around instead. <laughs> no, stop. Don't make me kick your ass. <laughs> this is like the third... What you call it? Is it a day sim or a visual novel? What? Right now I'm considering the visual novel. Sorry, this is the second. Yeah. Um, Kanawa Sojo was the first one. Honka was the best girl. I don't care what you say. Did you, uh, did you like to win? Yeah. You like to win? I, I, went, I did all of the storylines. Nice. I like, no, I finished Rin's and Honka's. Besides, I, besides, I had reason, reason for being distracted. You've been distracted a lot lately. What's going on in that house, skull of yours? It's an upcoming match. I have no idea how anyone can remain calm when an international cre career is at stake. I wouldn't be surprised if I made a, made enough doomsday scenarios to fill up my made up to fill up the apocalypse genre. All right, the judo thing. I'm sure you'll do fine. I've seen some of your matches. You kick butt. And of course, if you're really worried, you can always pray. Pray? But don't tell me you don't know. It's one of the school's legends. Apparently there's some shroud out of the forest that if you pray to it, it brings you good luck. Ichigawa son said that his sister prayed to it the night before her exam. She got a perfect skull. Well, that's because you fucking study like a normal person? Yeah. Dude, I was terrible at studying before test before school. That's why I probably suck so bad. Did you ever study? Yeah. The whole <laughs> Asian thing? You're supposed to like cram the night before, but you're all... That's what I usually do. You're not supposed to. You're supposed that's to, what I do. You're supposed to actually, you know, study properly and then get a proper night's sleep. But, no. But you're like, no, no. There's so much you gotta get through. Yeah, that was me. And yeah, I sucked. I passed, but I sucked. A shrine that is said to bring you good luck sounds like bogus to me. But at this point, I'm willing to try anything, I guess. I'll ask Ichikawa-san <laughs> about the location. I'm not exactly in the mood to get lost in the forest and end up, end up a modern-day Tarzan. Huh. That's his, that's his worries. Well, whatever. If you end up like a Tarzan. <laughs> At least send me a message to let me know. No, hurry up. We're going to be late. Again! Womp womp. Our hero is never too early, nor are they too late. Tell them the fucking Batman try and save Jason Todd. Motherfucker got blew up. They arrive precisely when they are needed. Again, that's Jason Todd. <laughs> but for the sake of avoiding detention, let's hurry. That's a wizard, not a hero genius. How can one person be such a sports nerd and such a geek at the same time? That person's a goddamn hero. Let's not forget the Casanova and Man of the Year candidates. They're important details. I doubt you. Oh, yes, you. <laughs> I doubt you qualified for either one of them. Pajama boy. Ah, uh, so you're the childhood friend. Good. Oh, God. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> let's boldly go where no, no one has gone before. Everyone. Ah, fuck. No one's gone to school before. Oh, I suck. Ugh, nerd! Nerd! <laughs> the insult. Several years out, or several hours later, we finally get to fucking school. Dot, 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 dot. Oh shit, I was right. <laughs> Wait. Okay, when did school be over? Maybe for several hours, or whatever. Later that day, I finally got a chance to talk to my classmate about the location of the shrine that Koyumi had mentioned earlier. Gym was the last thing on schedule for the day, so once people got ready to go home, I approached the guy. Hey, Ichikawa! Is it true that your sister discovered some shrine that said to bring you good luck? He looks like such a nerd. 
Oh, ho, ho. Oh. let me guess. You want to date her? Wouldn't well, even though I do have to admit that she's very attractive, I'm afraid she's already going out with someone. God damn it. Oh, fuck. We're going to find out who next time on For the Lose.